The economy, an issue. Jobs, an issue. The border, an issue. Last week, listen to what Kamala Harris supporter Mark Cuban, the guy from Shark Tank, and a billionaire as well, how he explained why so many people are in this country after having entered illegally. Look, here's my opinion. I'm not speaking for the campaign with this. Yeah. I thought their hearts were too big when, when Joe came into office, that they didn't know how many people would cross the border, and it got away from them. But they figured it out. They learned. Mark big Cuban. hearts. Well, I mean, Mark Cuban is somebody who's vehemently anti-Trump. He... Um, is desperate that Trump, he can't believe that Trump is is on the cusp of getting reelected. He is now uh, trying to counter Elon Musk. Obviously, that is the biggest reach I've ever heard from an intelligent person in the history of well, not man. just intelligent. My heart is too not, big, so I let murderers and criminals in. Well, not just an uh, intelligent person. You live in Dallas, Texas. Okay, you live in Texas, the epicenter of this crisis. There's not even a Democrat. In Dallas, Texas, that is sympathetic the with the administration. Yes. yes. I mean, what do you, what, what, where do you live and who are the people that you're talking to on a day to day basis? You know what grates me about this? Okay, Kamala's heart is too big. Well, my heart is big. And in 2021, when I saw a report that these migrant children, who I have a deep passion mm -hmm. for, they were being put in facilities eating bloodied raw chicken with feathers right. coming out of it. They were on suicide watch list. And one little girl prayed, I pray God hears me because no one is hearing me right now. If you're Kamala Harris and your heart's too big, you go to that emergency mm -hmm. intake That's facility. Right. You see those migrant children who I want to help, who I have a heart for, but she did not. So don't give me this crap. About a heart being uh, too big, so Mark. But, but let's finish this up. Uh, we also know that your heart's too big. If I'm with the Harris campaign, hey, Mark, stop helping. Right. <laughs> that does not help. J.D. Vance saw that and said this. But, look, we, we also have to deport people, not just the bad people who came into our country, but people who violated the law coming into this country. We've got to be willing to deport them. And I think... I think, by the way, of course, you can be humane about this, you can be compassionate about this, but I completely reject the argument that Kamala Harris's open border, which has led to 320,000 missing children, that is that is that has led to 11 and 12 year old girls being sex trafficked by Mexican drug cartels. That is not compassionate. Having a border is compassionate for American citizens and for everybody else too. You know, it was a good argument. But also, what about us? Why, why, why do we? Why, why does our heart continue to have to supersede? You know, our current circumstances, where the communities are being taken over, uh, the the rec centers are being schools. taken over, the schools yes. they're passing out debit cards to people, and we got kids that are in our own communities that can't read and write, right? right that are struggling on a day to day basis. They're not getting a debit card. Use a hard end to pay for the food. That? I mean, right. Come on, go. man. Use right. both. Use both. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.